Good. Hi. Um, what we're going to be doing is not a meditation, although if you are um, knowledgeable about meditating, that might be something really good for you to do. You can, uh, and at home, you can lie down, sit down comfortably, or um, hold a lotus position or any other type of position that gives your body a lot of comfort. Okay, so your body, your physical body, needs to be really comfortable. So just tap into your physical body right now and see is there any moments or places of your physical body that are not comfortable and just start like moving or you know rearranging your physical body so that it's really really comfortable we're going to be going into basically silence a quietude of the mind and energies when I looked at November a few months ago it was like a, a, a call to be quiet to just stay in that silence stay and just perceive become the observer but be in a moment of silence and we have been uh, sharing of course you know it's been really difficult to stay in a moment of silence throughout this month because there's so much information that still needs to go out there there's so much to share there's so much to talk about there's so much to learn and to integrate that it's a little bit difficult just to spend a few minutes every day in silence silent moment and we're going to um, the intention behind this silence is very specific. We're going to be sharing an intention. Uh, when we were talking, uh, uh, Cornelia sent me an email a few days ago. Wasn't it, Cornelia, about Gaia? Can you tell us what the exact words were that you received? Gaia said for us to focus on her beauty. That's it, yeah. So Gaia said for us to focus on her beauty. Now, what does that mean for me, how I interpreted that message? And I thought it was a very important message to receive at that moment. Because when we, when we, um, I'm sorry, uh, is it Mary? Yeah. Can you join us in the circle? Thank you. <laughs> when we um, perceive beauty, in another, whether it's another person, another being, an animal or a plant, um, we open a gate of communication. It's pure and simple. It's a very pure form of communication. And it doesn't involve words. It involves a type of experience, of sharing of experience with that being. And what I felt was that that message just to, when we contemplate Gaia and Gaia's beauty, where what she was asking basically is get in touch, you know, phone me. I'm on the receiver, you know, it's like, or I'm calling you, you know. Gaia, phone home. <laughs> She's phoning home, and we are the ones that pick up an answer. And so this, we're going to be moving into um, quietude of the mind. Uh, each person will have their own journey. We're going to have Kevin help us with some uh, divine sounds, channel music. And um, if I do receive any insights or information, I will share them with you. And if I, if I don't, I will just, you know, if it's not to be shared but simply something to be felt we're just going to be here together um, the reason why we're in a circle right now and there's no wires nearby is so that we can experience um, the, the unity um, force of more than one person getting together with the same intention okay just because you're here in the circle doesn't mean that you have to necessarily join with the others in the circle for the same intention. It's just 
an energy configuration that you, you're free to move into or not. You, the people who are at home, if you're at home, you can tap into it by simply an intention of being part of this moment of silence together. And each person's higher self will show them or will take them where that person needs to go. Okay? So get really comfortable. If you need to lie down, lie down. If you need to move around when we're um, in the silence, it's going to be, I don't know how long we have, I think about an hour and a half or something like that. Move around if you need to. Um, change positions. Um, so really tap into your physical body's comfort level. And at the same time, when thoughts come in or information comes in, become the observer and just say thank you, you know. It's like, not, don't try to quiet it down because then it'll become worse, you know, your mind starts going crazy. So allow it to just flow through like waves in the sea, you know, waves in the sea. In order, earlier I mentioned that if you had a plant in your home, that would be a very good thing to have in front of you in order to connect directly with Gaia. Over here we have several plants, but also um, I'm going to uh, facilitate a little bit in a, a slight guided, guided um, path into connecting with Gaia. Okay? So, yeah, we can start. So take a few deep breaths, really take your air, the air, really deeply into your physical body and breathe out gently a few times. As we breathe and become comfortable in our own physical bodies, we have the intention of silently observing, beholding with our senses, Gaia. We can see her oceans, beautifully clean, crystal and pure. We can feel the sea air. touches our skin and our senses. The gentle waters. powerful waves as they meet at the shore. You can hear the ebb and flow of the water. You can sense all the creatures in the sea. Dolphins and whales. Let's sit with them for a while. You can
can step into the water if you so wish. Or simply wait at the shoreline and connect. we perceive the mountains. We move towards the mountains. We're getting closer, we can see deep forests full of life. into the forest. We're embraced by the beauty all around us, the warmth and dampness. We can smell the trees and the ground. within this forest, the elemental. We are seen and welcomed.
walk on into the mountainside. The forest ends. We can see rocks. Beautiful, clean rocks. And the majestic mountain. A whale of the earth. We start to climb, touching the rocks as we go. Light as a feather, we propel to the top of the mountain. sit here and look all around us. The amazing beauty of Gaia. The mountain welcomes us. fresh and clean. Desert. A living, breathing desert. The plants and animals. We become conscious of the desert and we travel there, landing gently on the ground. We touch the ground, which feels hot. We look around and perceive the life force in the desert. All those creatures and plants that can live in such an environment. Their enormous life force. It's so beautiful. The desert welcomes you and sees you. We stay here for a few moments to bask in its beauty.
Somewhere in the distance we hear a river. Our awareness goes to the river. And we travel there. The water is pure and clean. And we put our hands in the river. It's cool to the touch. We can hear it. And see the sun glistening as the water moves. We see Gaia taking form into female form and she walks towards us. She's exceedingly beautiful. She's gonna take us to a location on the planet that has deep resonance with their own individual self. She asks for permission. And you may choose to go with her or not. If you choose to go with her, just take her hand. feel transported to that location, the place on the planet that is the most beautiful we have ever perceived. Stay here for the next hour.
can perceive the Arctic Circle. In a moment, we're there. We can feel the crisp coolness of the air. And hear our feet as they crunch the snow. We walk towards a cave made of ice. The sunlight comes through, illuminating the inside. See the colors through the ice. Blues and greens. We stay here for a moment and listen. that appears to be desolate. We can hear Gaia's heartbeat. sense the movement of the planet through the cosmos. Outside the cave, we look up at the sky, watching as it turns from day to night. The stars are so large, so many. It feels like we could almost reach out and touch them.
welcome. go back into the earth this time, into the light. Step back into our physical bodies, which are made of 
volunteer where you were, where you went, when you went to the location that most resonated with you. If you'd like to share, anybody. She had, but I was already there, and, and so it was, a, you know, I swam with the dolphin. <laughs> it, it was extended, but that's where I was. Wow. Home. Thank you. We might need a microphone yet so that we can share with the people at home. Or... And if anybody wants to type in from home what they felt, we might have somebody read it out. <laughs> Anybody else wants to share? Yeah. Oh, the first, um, I remember when, uh, when you said something like imagine what uh, she looks like, I guess, in some sort of a human form. I get this this amazing, beautiful, um, spirit-looking being, but uh, she didn't have anything, you know, no eyes or no mouth, but it was just something beautiful. Um, and she would have, uh, her form would have all the remnants of her, as, as the earth does, like the oceans and lakes, yet she was kind of transparent, glowing. It was her. It was just he felt her essence, and uh, she took my hand, and uh, we went into the space. And I'm looking around, and there's these um, these colors are that are not of, I guess you can say, of this frequency. Right? I'm perceiving these beautiful colors of um, of jungle, of forests, of of lakes, of birds, of just everything of this amazing beauty. And uh, then I feel this warmth, this amazing warmth. And I get this kind of this feeling and this word, mom, mother, and it's just so warm and almost it almost like it over, almost like overwhelms emotion. You almost want to cry because you feel this beauty. This this is our mom, <laughs> and this is basically kind of and almost like kind of like a hugging feeling, just this embracement of everything, of her essence, kind of I guess kind of what you're saying. You're channeling. This is. Yeah. This is exactly what I'm feeling. Is that what you're expressing right now? Is yeah. the feeling, the overwhelming crying, yeah. that feeling, what you're expressing? Yeah. yeah. It's our mom. She's our mom. She's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Anyone else wants to volunteer? was that um, in being before her, and it's very similar to what you said, it wasn't like a face. It was like every creature and every tree and every grass, like the grass is her hair and the trees are the... Everything is part of her body. And, and I realized and I, and I was telling her that she's the only thing that has kept me alive here. Because all growing up and everywhere I've ever been, and sometimes places of great suffering where it was in me or around me that 
she was always there. And these words came from the Bible. It, it, uh, all of a sudden, I was inside a, t- a tree and, and realizing the great currents that go inside a tree and, and, and that the tree is anchored in the ground and then, and then the branches come out. And, and I realized the words from the Bible that came was, and you reign on the just and the unjust. And I was thinking about that forgiveness. And um, I asked her to forgive me for anything that I've done to harm her, and that I want to go with her, and that she's the only thing that has sustained me and is in me, and that I am nature. I, myself, am nature. And, um, yeah, and that's all. Thank you. Would you like to? We're going to force Mary to share. very beautiful journey uh, with the music and it took me, transported me to a whole different place. It was um, similar to what um, the other people, um, kind of a similar feeling. It was a feeling of a, of a closeness to, um, to nature, to the earth, and um, which is very, very beautiful. And there are lots of love and beauty and uh, peace. It was a very nurturing experience. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Is there anybody who typed anything through the chat channel that wants to share? Well, thank you everybody for partaking in this moment and the silence and the energies from Gaia might take a little while to just, you know, reintegrate and settle in. I would suggest for everyone to just spend a few minutes for themselves before, you know, we continue sharing or communicating, you know, verbal manner. <laughs> so if you're comfortable here you can stay in the circle or just walk around or just reintegrate and naturally come back when you feel like it. Is that okay? Alright. Thank you. And thank you Kevin for the beautiful, beautiful energy that came through your music. <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Larry wants to share, right, Larry? Excuse me? You want to share, don't you? <laughs> this whole experience actually has been uh, incredible as well. Can you? This presentation that we just had. Yeah, thank you.
Okay. Yes. Yes, I would like to share, actually. This whole event has been an incredible and empowering for all of us over this week. And this, uh, this meditation, the guided portion, uh, actually brought me to tears to go from the ocean to the beach and sit there and feel so connected. It completely was a connection. And then, uh, of course, <laughs> to hang out in the forest, I could see clearly where where I where I was, and it was it was absolutely wonderful. Very emotional though. And I, <laughs> at the end of this, at the end of the meditation, I finally, you know, I'm watching to make sure that we don't go offline. <laughs> I think at the end I went offline. <laughs> 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 because all of a sudden Kevin's standing over me and I'm like, what am I doing? <laughs> Any comments? I don't know. Nope, nope. <laughs> so, thank you very much. It was excellent. Anybody have a share? Um, thank you for creating this space. This is something that we did together. So, it's awesome stuff. All right, shall we take a break? Yeah. <laughs>